face. You're not gonna need a bunch of different tools to be able to do what the famous Chop Chop does. As I mentioned, the last time it was a Today Special was 2014. We aired it the last time officially in 2019, and yet more colors, more versatility, and a lower price, the lowest price we've ever offered for the famous Chop Chop. Now, Chef's gonna tell you all about it in just a second. I'm gonna give you the colors and show you everything it's gonna be able to do, and then he's gonna show you how it works. So, let's start on this side. We begin with the white classic. We get it, we understand it. We have the stone gray right here is our second color. Then we go to this brilliant hunter green. Uh, that's gorgeous. We have your classic black. I think that's great for gift giving. We have the red, which is always one of our all time favorites. Then we go to the two blues, which this is the turquoise blue you're seeing here. And right beside it is what's called the classic blue. So there's turquoise and classic, and we have mulberry. Now I have been completely obsessed for probably the last four months over, and you have to, anything he's done in what's called sunflower. It is the newest color, and I think it brings happy to your kitchen. So tonight, for the first time, we actually have the Chop Chop in that famous sunflower color, which I just think brings sunshine into your kitchen and makes your day fabulous. Now, how brilliant is this? It's what it can do. So starting on this side, you're gonna have two graters. The first grater is gonna be your coarse, and then you have the fine grater. You have a slicer, which is also your mandolin right beside that is the slicer mandolin. Beside that is your core blade. Think apples in an instant. Then we have what's called the wedge blade. Do not buy pre-cut carrots anymore. Do them yourself and save a ton of money. And then finally that dicer at the end, that is absolutely invaluable. So chef, I'm gonna throw it to you. Oh, by the way, we have three flex on this. We've reduced the shipping and handling. And I think we've sold close chef to 4,000 in just last oh, hour alone. Goodness. So let's chop chop. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's chop, chop. So, here's the cool thing. You get all of this, and I know it sounds overwhelming. The fine grater, the large shredder, the mandolin blade, the guard, so you can use all of those things safely. Then you get the pusher, which is for these two. This is the two blades. This is the, um, the corer, this one here. And this guy here is the wedger. And then you get the pusher and the french fry or the dicing blade. You get a little comb. Of course, you get a six cup bin. Um, with a lid and then you get the chopper. It sounds like it's a lot, right? But guess what? It all fits perfectly in here. This is what I've actually done. Let me just make myself a little space here. I've put a lock in the top so you can literally unlock it and let me just show it to you. There's every single attachment fits perfectly into the bin. So when you push that lid down, when you push the top down and lock it, guess what? That is how much space you're taking up in your kitchen. We've also given you this rubber non-slip mat. I've got to tell you this. We sold, I think you said 4,000. We've already sold nearly 2,000 of these extra storage bins. They're only 14 bucks or 14.95. You get two of them because they're wonderful, wonderful storage. If you want to get those, tonight might be your only shot at it because they're going to sell out before we get to tomorrow. Anyway, Suze, so come with me all the way down here. I always like to start with one of my favorites, French fries. Now, I don't know about you, but I love good crispy french fries, but they've got to be crispy, they've got to be delicious, right? I've done that, it's in my little square pan. Let me show you how I cut them. I start with a potato, and I just push that baby straight on through, just like that. Look, I'll do three potatoes and then I'll be patient. You can see six cups is that bin. I just cut myself six cups of french fries, and look at how perfectly cut they are, by the way, every single one of them. Now, I can remove these, and I can go ahead and throw those french fries in there. And then if I want to, I can just pick up my bin. I can drop those babies in like this. And that is all you're going to do. You're going to deep fry just like that, right? And you can see how quick and simple. Now, you could also do these in an air fryer. You know, you can see how perfectly cut those french fries are. But just to show you the quickness that you're going to get, because what you're really purchasing today at this crazy price is a sous chef. It's someone to do all the chopping and cutting for you. If I told you you could pick that up for less than 30 bucks, for less than 40 bucks, we've spring loaded the feet so it literally bounces up for you like that. Let me show you how you're going to cut crudités. So that's celery. Um, sorry, that's cucumber. <laughs> Next I'm going to throw my celery in. So you can put you the celery... What, chef, you can it's those put... tricky green vegetables yeah. that get you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't even look... They don't even 
ever look the same. But look at that, I just cut six cups of gorgeous veggies. Let me throw it all down there. Now, I know what you're thinking, well, they were soft vegetables. What about if you do a hard veggie? Let me show you. There's nothing much harder than a carrot, right, that we, that we, that we cut. Have a look at how quick and simple I'm able to go through these carrot sticks. I mean, just so effortless, Susan, and that's why right. people love this machine. It sure really do. is a game changer. You can see how quick and simple that works. Now, you'll also be making the dip to serve with that gorgeous crudite. Oh yeah, sure, let's show the B-roll. So these are all the different um, blades. Now don't forget, these are surgical grade stainless steel blades. Why is that important? You want them to be razor sharp so they cut your veggies with real precision. You'll see in that dicer blade, from french fries to dicing onions to making pico de gallo or salsa. Then you move on, this is the coring blade. So it literally removes the core from the apple. It works as a mandolin, it works as a box grater. It is just a dream to use. You can switch out those blades with absolute ease. I've made it really, really simple because to me that's everything, right? It's got to be simple, it's got to be easy, otherwise it doesn't exist in my brand. You guys made us the highest rated brand here at HSN and it's because we make products that work yep. and they work at a great price. The whole thing can go in the dishwasher, by the way, every single piece, and you can see how it all nests down, um, except that one mandolin <laughs> that they didn't put in there. But you can see how simple and easy that is to store. I've actually gone ahead, Susan, put the grater on here because you can just sit that grater over the top. So now you're kind of using it almost like a box grater, right? So whether you're grating a vegetable, I'm actually doing a cucumber right now. You can see how I'm just grating straight over the top. Or if you want to use um, my pusher, this is the guard, you can go ahead and use that as well. And you'll be able to push that all the way through. By the way, look at what's left. Hardly anything is left, that tiny little piece um, that's left there. Let me go ahead, lift it up. You can see all of that grated um, cucumber. Again, this is that six cup um, bin. You can see the measure marks on the front there. So here's a cool thing. Maybe I just want to serve a little bit of that tzatziki and I want to save some for later. So because we give you that lid, you just stick that lid on, you pop that back in the fridge and you can go ahead and use it tomorrow or the next day, whenever you want it, Suze. Well, Chef, I do want to show the additional lids and the different additional containers. So when you get this at home, you're going to get a container. I love it. It does have the measuring marks here in the front and it's going to help come with a lid. There there is a set of two extra ones, and here's what I really like. When you've got time to do that quick prep, and maybe you're prepping in the morning for tonight's dinner, or maybe you're trying to make school lunches and you're doing all the little carrots, or you're the mom who's got to go to the soccer field with all the sliced um, oranges for, you know, halftime or what have you, you're going to want these because you can pre-prep everything and store them in your fridge and keep them contained nicely, especially if you're doing lots of onions, you know, where you don't want that smell all over your fridge. It's a set of two. We bring in a lot less of the matching pieces than we do, obviously, of the Today's Special. How many of these we've sold? I think close to 2,000, 1,500 have been sold, way, way over projections, so we know these are going to sell out early. There's going to be thousands of people later today that will not even know that we had the two extra ones available because they are clearly going to sell out quick. So if you want the extra ones, good time to get them tonight while we, you can, while we still have them. A little quick update for you. Of all the colors, number one is my happy sunny sunflower. It's my favorite. I just think it brings a smile to your heart and your kitchen because it's so beautiful and the color is so right and so much fun. Now, the second and third most colors, let's do an update on that, Kevin, because we have not, get, I'm going to guess black and red. Those usually are. Right, red second, because it normally is. Follow it. I got it right. Oh, my gosh. Red and black. So one, two, three, right here in the center are the three most popular. Here's my theory on this, too. How many of you go through a drive through at the end of the day because you're in such a hurry, we don't have time to cook a meal? The other thing I think we're guilty of, and it's, it, you know, it happens, is we call one of those deliver the food kind of bag and it comes out cold it's nasty food anyway it's not good for you and you spend a fortune just having it delivered to your house well with this and, and, and the reason we use those resources and they become so popular is we don't have time and we think oh I know I should cook at home but I don't want to do the prep the prep is what stops us it's too complicated it's too arduous there's too much to do now you cut that out so now your prep's quick so you can get to the cook and the cook is actually the easy part. It's the prep that's the hard part. And this eliminates that issue completely for you. And Chef, I'm so tickled after so many 
years, we finally have this back in stock because it really is what I call kind of a life game changer. Now we're going to cook that favorite oh, recipe yeah. that we've never cooked because the prep is going to be so quick and easy. Well, what about doing oranges for the kids? You know, yep. I mean, my kids are always going to games. By the way, well, let's not take them things in bags. Let's give them what God gave us, these beautiful fruits and veggies. You can see how perfectly it cuts these gorgeous orange Brilliant. wedges, right? So whether, again, it's a six cup capacity. So you can go on through, these are giant oranges too, and you can see how easily they're cut. So look at that pile. Imagine if I had a knife out and I was trying to do that. By the right. way, with the same one, look at this. I'll go from a hard orange to an extremely soft tomato. Wow. And look, I'm just going to go ahead and cut, cut tomato wedges. So maybe you like tomato salads. Tomatoes are coming back into season, of course, with the, the weather warming up, thank goodness. But look at what I've done. A beautiful Greek salad. Of course, I go ahead. You could keep half the tomatoes in the bin if you wanted to, or you could make a big old salad like I have right here. Don't forget, those two extra bins are available. And then to transform it, Suze, here's what's so cool. If I wanted to, you see how I was just using that as a wedger? All I'm going to do now is stick a bin back in, right? Then if I wanted to transform this, I lift off the top, put that to one side, I remove the blade. Look how easy that was. Then I pick up my next blade. Okay, I'm going to use a green one on the white, forgive me. I just place that over the top, and guess what? Now I'm using it as a mandolin, right? So I can just go ahead and I can slice. I've got a, um, a guard that I'm going to show you guys how to use. So the guard, we've literally put little... <laughs> Look, white, green, blue. I promise you we won't send you all the colours under the <laughs> rainbow, but I'm just reaching for the closest one to me. We've put little arrows on this so you just push. You'll be cutting everything apart from yourself, right? Because it's a very, very safe, beautiful way to be able to slice and dice and do all of your preparation. And then, of course, those gorgeous little onion rings. And to be honest, Sue, sometimes I think when you're cooking at home, you think, oh, you know what, I'd be beautiful to do sliced onions, but I can't be bothered getting out my knife, smelling like onions for the rest of the day. Right. Well, guess what? You won't anymore. Oh, that's my um, beautiful little gravity mills. They are back in stock. And here, my friends, is this beautiful, brand new, first time we've ever shown it. This is actually a little, um, this will just emulsify a dressing so you can put oil and vinegar in. I've actually done a little creamy dressing. And you can see... That's awesome. Look at how perfect that is as a little dressing set. That's so good. So that's another great little item that we have available for you guys today. All right, we've got the Gravity Mills up there, guys, if you want to pick those up. Indeed, they are back in stock tonight. Everything's got flex on it, which is pretty awesome. Here's the thing. I, I, and again, I go back to this, uh, another concept. I don't care if you have a little teeny place like I do. I mean, I, my kitchen space is absolutely crucial in my house. Or you have a big mansion. The real estate in your kitchen is some of the most important real estate. How many different tools, knives... Um, gadgets which you have to have that can replicate what this does. You'd have to have a bunch of cabinets full or drawers full of stuff. Now, if you want to save money, save space, and certainly save a ton of time, this is what's going to do it for you. It's absolutely so brilliant. And just as a quick reminder, remember, we have not offered this as a today special for nine years. So this is like Haley's comment. When you see it on now at 1 a.m. in the morning, East Coast time, you want to get it because who knows, it might be another nine years before it's our best value. This year we've added more colors, we've added more versatility, and yet it's the lowest price we have ever offered on the Chop Chop, which is amazing since it hasn't been on for so long. So it's a great time to add it to your kitchen and clean out those drawers, get rid of all that stuff. No more have to be fancy knife work because none of us got time for it. We're also time starved. It's the prepping that stops us from cooking. He's solved the issue. Chef, I know you've got some other great ideas and I thought it was brilliant some yeah. of the things you came up with using this. Well, look, you, the, you, the options are truly endless. Look, I've done a lemon, a lime, and an orange. So all very um, hard ingredients, right? I'm going to go ahead and toss those in. Imagine doing a beautiful sangria. And then maybe you want to put an apple in there as well. If you wanted to, guess what? I'm just going to pick up that blade, switch it out. I'm going to reach over from... Don't, don't blame me for using the wrong colours, suits. <laughs> you know me. I just reach for the closest thing. Yep. But this is the Cora. I put the apple on top, just like... Like that, I put my bin back in, right, and then 
So that's how quick it is to change the blade. You push it on down, and look at this. Now you just go, you pull out the core, and you've got these perfect little perfect apple wedges. Yeah. Right, so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and put those. Are you wondering why on earth is he putting his fruit in a jug? Because I'm making sangria. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, that's not a bad little uh, summer drink. This is the Four Stones wine, of course. This is the gorgeous um, Cabernet that I'm pouring in there. And that, my friends, is so, so simple and easy to do. What about an egg salad? I mean, yeah. think about how long this would take to get those nice dices and watch how quick and simple I'm just going to push this straight on through. Have I got the right top there? Yeah, I don't I do. think you do. You? I'm using the dicer for it. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm using the dicer, <laughs> chef. I the dicing top on. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Well, let me show you. Let me show you. Now I've got this one set up the right way. Watch okay. this. I take myself a piece of pineapple, pop it on through. Look how quick. And by the way, perfectly cut. So whether it's using um, soft vegetables like the kiwi that I've got right here, or maybe I want to go ahead and use strawberries. I can do that as well. You can either cut them long ways, you can cut them sideways. Truly, it's so, so easy. And because of that spring load, it literally just pops back up and then you're going to just slap it on down. So easy to use, Suze. And look at the quantity of fruit salad, you guys. Now, if I was to go purchase fruit salad, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, they charge you a premium for cutting it. I don't know whether they've filled it with preservatives. Did they add sugar? I have no idea what they've, what they've put in there. Here I know what I'm dealing with, and it's all perfect fruit. By the way, if I want to store it, I'll pop the lid on like that, and in she goes to the fridge. I'm going to finish off my little tarts first, and then I'll store the rest for later. And doing your preparation ahead of time, it's a bit of a game changer. It's kind, it's kind yeah. of what we do in the okay. restaurant business all the time, because we can't do it all a la minute. We've got to, we've got to do a little bit ahead of time. But but then what's left, you pop the lid on and of course everyone's getting that lid. And then that goes into the fridge. Now if you want to pick up an extra two of these bins, you can. It's $14.95 for those extra two. And you did mention, Suze, they will sell out pretty pretty rapidly today. Yeah, those are going to go pretty early. Uh, and I just want to mention this too, you know, Chef and all his beautiful Mission Star restaurants, he's got a whole staff that does the prep work. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's lucky. You know, he gets to roll in and then him and his chefs, they do the cooking part. Because they're not going to spend their valuable time I'm prepping. They hire people to do it. Well, you and I don't have that luxury, you know what? And I truly believe that. I think that's why we go through the drive through and we feel guilty about it. We order the pizza. We have the food delivered from that delivery service. And we spend a fortune doing that because we simply don't have time in our lives to prep. But in our hearts, we really do want to cook more. We want to make we use more recipes. We want to cook healthier. We just got to find the, the hack, the life hack to allow us to do that. This is it. This is that life hack that takes the most arduous job in the kitchen, which is cutting and dicing and slicing and grating and prepping and all that, and it makes it so fast. I tried to time how fast in my head he made that fruit salad, and I'm guessing it's about 15 seconds versus a half hour of you and I, God bless, trying to chop up the fruit perfectly so it looks gourmet. This is now going to do that for you. Are right, you seeing the different blades. I'm going to go kind of through it live on the air again, but I do want to do colors and kind of give you some more updates on it. Love midnight, love 1 a.m. I love launching because I can say, hey, I've got every color. At this point, if you want the sunflower, that happy, bright, wonderful sunflower, that's going to be the first to sell out. Of the almost 4,000 we ordered, I think more than a, yeah, almost over, over a thousand now is just in the sunflower color. So let's go live, guys, if you don't mind, back to the colors. Um, that's that happy, sunny sunflower. Um, the reason I'm so tickled about it is we launched it in some pans earlier, um, about maybe four months ago. And every time we've done a sunflower item, they have completely sold out. A couple of them sold out in the midnight to 2 a.m. show. That's how popular that sunflower's been. Then we go over here and we've got your white. We have the stone gray. We've got the hunter green. We have the black. We have the red. This is the three most popular right here in the center. We have the turquoise blue. We have the classic blue. So turquoise and classic. And this is mulberry. Now, I want to show you the blades to make sure in case you're channel surfing, you're getting two graders. You're getting the fine grader and you're getting the coarse grater with this. The next one's going to be your slicer mandolin. That's what you're seeing right there. The one after that is your core blade, which is going to do all those apples that you saw and all the oranges. Then we have the wedge. Do not buy the little sticks for your kids for their lunches or for snacks. Make them yourself. When they're pre-cut, pre they charge you a premium.
premium for it. That's ridiculous. Get this and change the game. Save money. And then finally, the Dicer. I mean, that one's just invaluable because it does so very, very much. Number one top rated brand throughout all of HSN. And you know you get great quality. And obviously tonight, it's just a super value. I do want to mention, because Chef's using these a lot, if you're pre-prepping, again, you're going to save so much money just by cooking at home. Pre-prep for that evening meal next week, the party coming up. Maybe you're having a grill out with friends. And then you're going to get the lids to put on top of this. There's an extra two. You will get one with every set, but you can buy an extra two. It's a little over $14. I highly recommend those. Those are really limited. Those are definitely going to sell out much earlier before we sell out of our today's special. All right, Chef, you want to have a chop chop off? <laughs> oh, I sure do. Well, first of all, these are two things that I bought on my way in today. Yep. I bought a box grater, yep. 45 bucks. I bought a, a mandolin, $57, right? Oh, so let me show you what a box grater can do. It can do exactly this. So you can see how quickly I can grate this cheese. Now, if you think, well, I can buy shredded cheese at the store, ask yourself this, what's in it? I actually had a look at a pack on my way in today. There was calcium sul sulfate in there. Other uses for calcium sulfate is plaster of Paris, stucco, <laughs> stuff that you don't want to eat. There's all sorts of things. Stucco. There's a thing called anti-caking agent. You don't want that in Ooh. there either. So look at this box grater. I'm calling it a box grater. Of course, it's my chop chop. But have a look how fast I can shred the cheese. Now, I can pop the lid on and keep it in the fridge. It took me all of 20 seconds. Or I can go and make some gorgeous nachos and just spread. You know me. I love my nachos. This is my Dura Bake as well. I have my Dura bakeware um, available for you guys. That's going into the oven. So that's the box grater. That's what a box grater can do. We can do it all in the chop chop. Also, this is a mandolin, right? So here's the mandolin blade. You stick it over the top like that and away you go. So have a look now at how I can get those perfect thin slices of potato, right? And you can see just how quick and simple I'm able to go through this. Look, I'm filling that six cup. It is a six cup bin. So simply and effortlessly, we give you the pusher as well if you want to use it. And you can see how perfectly thin and even these slices are. Don't spend 57 bucks on a mandolin that does one job. You're better off making your potato gratin like that and using this beautiful chop chop. Let me prove to you the six cup capacity. Here's the bin. Here are six cups. You ready? One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. I think I might have been a little bit skimpy. That's only five cups. So there you go. I might have under poured them slightly. But you can see that that six cup capacity really is amazing. For quick, simple dessert stews, of course, the key here is that spring loaded top, right? I've loaded those legs. They're spring loaded. Um, I'm actually going to just switch this blade out because that's my wedger. I'm going to use my Cora so you can see I've got a blue one. Oh, Gareth, you're so fast. Look at that. He brought me over the maroon um, or purple. I'm not exactly sure what we're calling it. Uh, but mulberry. what you do, Suze, it's you just chef. place your apple on top. Mulberry, thank you. <laughs> and then you push it on through, right? So you can do a mixture of Granny Smith and delicious apples. I'll toss those in there. Again, you might want to keep some for later and pop some into your apple crumble. I'm going to make you a dessert in all of 30 seconds here. Um, I'm going to pop that in there as well. Now, of course, you do need to go fishing. You've got to go find the cores because you want to <laughs> remove those. That's the whole point. We go ahead. I think I cut four apples. I need one more. Come on, where are you? Well, it's like searching for gold. There it is. So there are the four. Then I just sprinkle a little cinnamon sugar like so. Then I go ahead and hit a little crumble. That's oats, a little butter, a little flour, and a little sugar. You're just going to throw that all the way over like so. And then it goes in the oven suits for 20 minutes, and you've got a beautiful apple crumble or apple crisp. So quick and so simple. So whether it's the nachos or the desserts, grab yourself the chop chop because it just makes life so simple, you guys. No kidding. And i got to tell you, you, buy this once, and seriously, if you don't save a ton of money, um, how many of you do? You 
but you want to eat fruit, you're trying to eat healthier, so you're buying that pre-cut fruit, because guess what, you know, oh, it's so much faster, it's quicker. You spend premium dollars on pre-cut anything. Please don't do that anymore, you don't have to. I, I go back to this too, because I think the reason that we don't cook very often at home is because we just don't have the time for the prep. It's not actually the cooking part we mine, it's the silly prep that takes forever. So now you've got your prep chef, it's there waiting for you. And within seconds, you can see chef is just whipping through these items, the vegetables and the fruits and all the product, because this is gonna allow you to do that. And what does that mean ultimately? You're gonna save a ton of money and a ton of guilt because you're not going through the drive-through, you're not ordering from the delivery person, and you're not eating just that awful frozen food that happens to be quick, but it's not good for you. This is the way to get healthier, eat quicker, eat faster, and make a whole lot less effort in a machine, in a system, in a tool that will allow you to do so much with it. Its versatility is unmatched. It's really, Chef, it's so brilliant. I don't know why it took so many years to get it back on the air. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? I mean, look, what I've just done here is I've just made about salsa. five cups of pica de gallo or salsa, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Now, here's one that I went and bought on the way in. Guess how much it costs? How much? Five dollars. <gasps> and nine cents for this piddly little amount. <laughs> Have a look at the difference in size. Oh These God. tomatoes didn't cost me five bucks, right? So of course what I do next is I add a little lime juice, I add a little salt and pepper. That's coming from my gravity mills, of course. Then I'll grab a spoon and give that a real quick stir. And then all I'm gonna do is go ahead just like that. Now, of course, if I wanted to pop that lid on, that's why we're selling the two extra bins, because you'll want to be able to put this in the fridge, but it does, you'll still want to be able to keep on chopping, right? So I'll, I'll pour that in for now, and then my lid, I grab that, I stick it on, and guess what? I pop this in the fridge, and it's that perfect, perfect storage. Yeah, and also, too, I love that, too. If you're going to pre-prep a lot of chopped onions, and you don't want your fridge to smell like a ton of chopped onions, those lids are really awesome to help you do that. All right, Chef, we've got about 59 seconds to go. Just a really quick recap. I love, thank you for using the sunflower. He knows I'm completely obsessed. From day one when it. you launched that you first pan, all of us are completely obsessed with the sunflower color. <laughs> I get it. It's a really, really pretty. You know, onions are the start of absolutely every recipe, whether it's a pasta recipe, whether it's a soup, whether it's a stew, whether it's a braise. No one that I've ever met, I've been cooking for nearly 30 years, nobody that I've ever met has told me, you know what I love? I love cutting onions. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes cutting onions. Now, I'm cutting carrots, onions, celery, because that's sort of that French mirepoix, right? Now, you could put your lid on, like I've shown you so many times, or you can see, imagine if I had a board and I was able to cut all of that in the 20 seconds that it took me to use the chop chop. Crazy. You guys, you don't have to be strong. You don't have to be smart. All you need to know how to do is to push. It is literally that simple. And whether you're taking <laughs> really a potato is. to cut potato wedges or onions, you just stick it on there and you just go straight on through and chop it. I did show you earlier on my beautiful new multi-cooker. Now, it is a slow cooker and a multi-cooker all in one. It is right here. And I'm going to lift the lid and I'm going to add it to my beautiful slow-cooked beef. Oh, these nice. beautiful potatoes and onions. Lovely. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yeah. yeah. All right, Chef. So let me give on. you uh, a we little information on the addition.